Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com. We're at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's marketing team. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add images to your media library so that you can in turn add those images like you see here in sidebar one and in sidebar two. So you can add those images into your sidebar widgets, among other things. Okay, so let's start out with my demonstration blog right here, Jim's Max GXL marketing team. Now this demonstration blog uses WordPress version 3.2.1 along with the thesis theme version 1.8.2 you absolutely positively do not you do not need to be using the thesis theme or any particular theme in order to follow along with this video tutorial and what I'm teaching you in this video tutorial should work with just about any version of WordPress okay so this is what the basic layout of the uh, blog is now you already know how from other videos that I've created how to add images directly into a, a blog post or page. Now if you want to add images to the sidebar like we have down here, I've also shown you how to do that in other videos, but I never did show you how to get those images into the media library, so I'm going to do that now. First thing I'm going to do is click on this dashboard where I've already logged into my demonstration blog, and then under media here there's a tab. You can click on a library or add new, it doesn't matter. Now if I click on library, it brings me to the media library obviously now to add a new image to the media library you can click on this link right here or you can click on this add new down here it really doesn't matter let's just click here since we're here now I'm going to select a file it says maximum upload file size 10 megabytes and we're nowhere near that for a simple picture and as you can see up here this just brings me to a folder on my hard drive where I happen to have some pictures that I'm going to use for this demonstration. You can search anywhere in your hard drive to add a picture or a PDF file or different file types that you want to add to the media library. I'm going to click in this folder which I'm using for my demonstration and I'm going to click here and click open and this is a rather medium sized file okay so at the top you can see the file name is right there blackbox.jpg the date it's uploaded and these are the dimensions 500 pixels wide and 333 pixels tall what we can do is change the name to something more meaningful okay the putting something text into the alternate text is very important if somebody is blind or has a vision impairment they have what's called a reader that reader is going to read the text on a web page and read it out loud so they can listen now if the reader stumbles upon an image it doesn't know what to say unless you put some alternate text in here so I'll put a box of chocolates okay I usually don't put a caption in. you can experiment with that on your own the description is just for yourself and this is just um, for O chocolate website and that's just a website I'm working on right now and the, okay the file URL now if you see down here where it says file URL this is the URL or web address to find this particular image on the server in the uploads folder this is the date it's in the content and then you can see it's right there now the black box jpeg corresponds to the name up here of the file of that image okay so we're going to click all save all changes and we're done with that very simple I'm going to add another image but this time I'm going to resize the image oh and by the way if you click in the library link here you can see that the black box of chocolates has been added to the media library now I'm going to add another image and then resize it and we'll be done I'm gonna give you a few more tips while I do that select files we're going to click let's go with this one right here it says Christmas scenes JPEG that's the name of it it's crunching it's uploading it okay it says it's a thousand twenty four pixels by seven sixty eight that's too big for most pages and posts so I'm gonna just change this a little bit Christmas scenes with house just to let you know you can do that alternate text you know what I can just copy and paste that 
doesn't have to always be original. I don't need the description. I can see exactly what it is and what it stands for. Now, if you look down here, you can see for the file URL, it ends in christmasscenes.jpg. That's the name of the file that we're looking at right here. Now, I'm going to save this. And you can see it's in our media library. You can just click on the picture. And now I'm going to edit it. Dimensions 1024 by, 7, by 768. I'm going to click on Edit Image. You click on Scale Image. Let's just change that down to about half that, which would be just an even 500. It automatically adds the height. Click Scale. I click Save again, but you really don't have to. And then Update Media at the bottom. Now see, the URL still says ChristmasScenes.jpg. That's going to change. So I like to update the media first, then go back if you're going to copy and paste that URL anywhere. So click here. And you can see at the, we go down here. First of all, you can see the dimensions have changed. And if you go down to the file URL, if we look to the right, you can see that it's no longer just ChristmasScenes.jpg. The E, I like to think that stands for edit. I don't know what it stands for. And then they add a string of numbers. This is what you need if you're going to copy and paste it. So I'm just going to click in here once, press Control-A or Command-A on a Mac to select all, Control-C to copy on a PC, Command-C on a Mac. I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm just going to paste this in, Control-V. And so that's a web address, just like anything, just like if you're going to a web page, you can go to an image. And there it is. Pretty much that's all there is to adding images, different type file types to your media library. If you like this, please click the like button, share your comments on YouTube and my blog, share with friends, family, and loved ones on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever. Take care and have a great day. <music>